Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Nonrev Sims, and welcome to another Sims 3 video. Today, I am bringing you guys a current household. Um, I haven't done one of these in a while, and this has been the household that I've been playing the most for the past couple of days. Um, I guess this is my Sims 3 current quarantine household. Um, yeah, I've been playing them while on quarantine, you know, with everything going on. This is what I've been playing while I've been stuck at home. And I just wanted to show you what progress I made on this family. Um, so this is their house here. Clearly, they've made some money since they can afford this. And I typically don't use cheats on my current household. Um, I don't use money cheats. So um, I like to make things a little bit difficult. And right now, they have quite a bit of money now. So I have some things that I typically do to reduce their household funds. But let's get on into it and let me introduce you all to all the sims. You can already see one, but we're not going to start with her. We're actually going to start, we'll start with this sim here on top. Um, so this is Cassie Steele. I'll show you all her. I'll show you guys the house as well in a little bit. But um, we'll start with the sims. So here we have our very first sim here. Her name is Cassie Steele. She is an adult, three days away three days away from aging up into um, an elder and her traits are athletic, loner, slob, virtuoso, family oriented. Her favorite things are roots music. Um, she likes tri-tip tri tofu steak and her favorite color is aqua. She is a Sagittarius and she is currently employed as an undercover specialist. She works in the law enforcement career and she is level seven. Um, she's not doing too hot at it, but um, that's her stuff. She was an abysmal diver before um, because she actually was not part of my household. My sim married her and that is why she has that. Um, these are her skills and all that stuff. She is currently going to play piano because that is one of her favorite hobbies. And here's her inventory, nothing too special there. And she has lots of lifetime rewards just because she had a lot of points. Um, yeah, so she basically married my sim, Mason Steele. Everyone knows Christopher Steele from Sunset Valley and these are his descendants here. And I'll tell you where he comes into play just because you will not see him in the um, family portrait, in the family tree, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So next here we have Mason Steele. He is an adult. He has eight days away until aging up into an elder. His favorite music is soul. Favorite food is stew surprise. His favorite color is green. And he is a Sagittarius as well. He is a workaholic, rebellious, good, daredevil, and eccentric. He was quite a bit, he was quite a lot as a teenager. Um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, but he's level eight in the business career. He is the CEO. He's doing amazing at it. And that's that. And then these are his skills really quickly. Not going to focus on any of that. Um, his inventory, he has quite a bit of cookbooks just because he loves cooking. Um, he has a lot of lifetime reward points, but I didn't buy him many. Not yet, but I will. Um, so Christopher, or not Christopher, Mason is actually the main sim I was playing with um, at one point in time. And here is his family tree. I'll show you just for him really quickly so I can explain it. Um, but basically his father is here. His name is Mika Steele and his grandfather will be, uh, is Christopher Steele. I did move them to a new town in a new save. So um, that's because my old save got really laggy and kind of, um, kind of corrupted. Just, I was doing some crazy things like playing with story progression and all these crazy settings. So it kind of got a little laggy. So I started a new um, save file and that is why Christopher Steele does not appear in the family tree, but he is basically Mika's, um, Mika's father. So he is the grandfather of Mason and then the great grandfather of Mason's daughter. Um, I'll tell you guys a little bit about her. Um, but yeah, so Mika moved here and then he died and that is Mason's father. And then Mason's mother is Lynette Keaton. She lives on the other side of town. I'll talk a bit about her family in a little when I'm done with this one. So next we have Jonathan Gilbert and he married Amara Gilbert. Um, again, he was not part of the original family, just someone my sim married. Um, his star sign is Scorpio. He likes classical music. Um, his favorite food is hot dogs and his favorite color is blue. Um, he's a he heavy sleeper, hopeless, romantic, eccentric, handy, and neat. Um, I didn't show you guys. Did I show you guys a close up of Cassie? She's actually, she's an interesting looking sim. She is the descendant of 
um, oh my god, what's his name? Sam Sekimoto. I think the Sekimoto family in Sunset Valley, she is a descendant of that household. Um, and then here is Mason. He's really ugly because his mom is ugly. <laughs> Oh my God, look at Amara back there in her laundry. He is such an ugly Sim, you guys. <laughs> but I was like, there's nothing to do about it. He's so ugly. <laughs> I hope his daughter doesn't end up looking like him. And then where is Jonathan? Um, by the way, Jonathan's job, he works in the science career and he's level three and he is a useless contraption manipulator. Okay. Um, and at one point he was in the, um, the thing with the table, he was in the, I forgot what it's called, but you can be self-employed and he was doing that thing with the woodworking table. These are his skills. This is his inventory. And yeah, um, he did just move in with us a few, like a few weeks ago, sim weeks ago. So, um, he's still developing himself. Um, and this is what he looks like with his eyes closed. Let's see if, let me just use his face profile so you guys can see him. That's what he looks like with his eyes open. Um, and Amara met him one day at the spa and she was like, I want him. So, you know, they got married. And then here is Amara. She is the one in her, in her sleep attire, in her little lingerie. Um, she is actually the half sister of this sim here, Gianna. She's a half sister, so she's not technically related to Mason. Um, her mother married Mika, so that's Mason's father. So they're step siblings, pretty much. Um, so her star sign is a Taurus. Her favorite music is country. Her favorite food is peanut butter and jelly. And her favorite color is aqua. She is neurotic. She has star quality. She's dramatic, virtuoso, and excitable. She's my little like artistic queen, you know, she loves the musical things. Um, obviously she's in the musical career, she's level five and she's a music talent scout and she's doing pretty well at it. She actually went to um, art school. Um, I sent her off to private school just because she had a huge interest in art from a young age. So, you know, to get her ahead in life, she went. She was sent to art school. These are her traits or her skills, not traits, um, her inventory and yeah, that's all there is for her. She just aged up yesterday, so that's why her hair is looking a little crazy. I know you're like, girl, what is that hair? But um, yeah, and then this is her mom. Her mom was um, Eileen. Her mom was Eileen, so her mom was married to Mika. So that's how those two are related. Oh my God, why is the kitchen so bright? Okay, we're gonna move out of here. Next up, we have Miss Gianna. I think she's upstairs, yeah. So here we have Miss Gianna. She is the daughter of Eileen and Mika. So she is half siblings to both Mason and Amara. Because both of them, they all share a single parent besides um, Amara. Um, so her star sign is Aries. Her favorite music is Beach Party. Her favorite food is Fruit Parfait. And her favorite color is gray. She is athletic. She has a good sense of humor. She's neurotic. She's a computer whiz. And she is perceptive. Um, she is dating this sim here, Toby. He's married. Oh, no, he's not. Okay, okay. Never mind. Disregard that. Scratch that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Um, she used to work um, for the bookstore. She had a part-time job in high school. Currently, she is in the investigator career. Um, she is level two. She just started that, but she's been doing amazing at it. I've been having a lot of fun with that one. This is my first time doing that um, active career. These are her skills, her inventory, and she has a lot of things because I've mostly been focusing on her um, while I've been playing. Um, and then I don't know if I showed you her family tree, but I'll show you guys again. This is her family tree. She is the half brother of Mason and the half sister of Amara. So um, again, these two are step siblings just through the parents marrying each other. She's the only child from the two of them. Um, and then next we have little Miss Carson, or I'll skip Carson for a little bit. I'll come back to her. Next we have Asher Gilbert. He is the son of Amara and Jonathan. He's about to age up into a child. Oh, I didn't say... Oops, I didn't say. She's a young adult, um, Gianna, and Amara is a, an adult. She just aged up yesterday. Next, we have Asher. He is the son of Amara and... Oh my God, can my thing go? <laughs> oh. 
Okay, he is the son of Asher and Jonathan. I'm trying to get a little closer so you guys can see him, but this freaking door is in the way. Okay, he, he's a son. Um, his star sign is Pisces. His favorite music is R&B. His favorite food is pancakes. And his favorite color is turquoise. We have a lot of blue people in this house. He is neurotic and excitable. Um, so for some reason, all of my Sims keep inheriting the neurotic trait, which I mean, I, I don't mind it. I actually find it pretty funny, but it started with Eileen. She was the first neurotic one. Um, so that would be his grandmother and all of the kids end up being neurotic. So I'm like, you know what? That's going to be the family trait. They're all crazy. Um, these are his relationships. Um, oh, I got to tell you guys about his sister. He has a half sister. He has no skills, obviously. And that's all about him. So he does have a half-sister. His father, Jonathan, um, had a baby before. Actually, he had a baby at the same time because I think they're the same age. So he was messing around with another girl while him and Amara were like... It was before they got married because Asher was born before they got married, but he was messing with another girl while they were dating. And she was older. She See, she's an elder. So he does have a half-sister, and her name is Farah, and this is her. Um, I think we might end up taking her in because I'm pretty sure this lady is about to die. So, um, <laughs> yeah, we might take her in, and I might end up moving them out anyway. My household is way too big currently. I never play my households this large. So I'm going to have her move in, little Farah. Um, and then the three or the four of them Jonathan Amara and Asher they're all gonna go live somewhere else just because you know they're a little family now and they want to like spread out you know make their own little roots in town um okay so last but not least in this household we have our our little girl Carson who is a little famous on Twitter <laughs> I share pictures of her all the time on Twitter um if you don't follow me on Twitter already you should um, just because I post pictures and stuff, even though I don't upload videos, but, um, my at is at non -rev sims and it'll also be linked down in the description. But basically this is my favorite little kid. Her name is Carson Steele and she is a child. She is going to age up in three days, which I'm so sad about. I really don't want her to age up because I've been enjoying playing her like as a kid. She is so cute to me. Um, her favorite music is Latin. Her favorite food is pancakes. Her favorite color is gray and her star sign is cancer she's absent-minded a genius and good um i think i randomized her traits i usually always randomize their traits um these are her relationships oh my god she like knows all the kids in school by the way there are so many children in my town it's ridiculous like so many there's a lot of teens as well. Um, she is a an elementary school student. She has an A. I don't think she's on the honor roll yet, but the next time she goes to school, she should be on honor roll. She is level two at ballet. She goes to after school. Um, she only has logic skill. This is her inventory. Um, she does have the baker's half dozen stand because she owns her little bakery stand thing. She does that. Uh, whenever she has free time and she does have lemons in here because I think I don't know where it's at but I thought I bought her the lemonade stand as well but we haven't used it yet um yeah that's basically it about Carson now let me get into Mason's little family tree because his family tree is a little janky it's a little crazy um because his it was it was a it was a lot so um basically <laughs> Micah was the first did I say Micah or Mika I don't know what I call him I call him Mika and Micah Mika, Mika, it's Mika. So Mika, um, he was the child of Christopher Steele and Carolina Steele, which I will show you guys a screenshot of their family tree um, in my old save file so you can see how it relates to all of them. So Mika had a kid when he was in high school with his friend Lynette Keaton. She came and lived with them because her household was not the best. Like her parents were fighting constantly like I had story progression on and like every day there was like a new pop-up notification about them her parents fighting so um Mika invited them to come come live in his house since it was a little more peaceful and um you know they were both rebellious teens I think she's rebellious as well oh no she's not I could have sworn she was rebellious anyway she used to want to do rebellious things all the time like going to egg people's houses and all this stuff anyway she ended up having um Mason as a teenager and 
my sim carolina was not very happy about it but you know what she ended up loving mason so it was all good um so then she aged up she got into the business career and she excelled at it and then she ended up meeting her husband who is jamil keaton and he was a police officer i think Oh, it doesn't even show what he used to do I don't know why but he was a police officer and you know they had this loving relationship and then from there they ended up having two three kids no two kids two kids sorry two kids they had James who is Mason's half-brother as well as Marjorie um, so this is Marjorie here those are everything that's everything about her so that is Mason's half-sister and then this is James and his wife Delilah and these are their two kids. So um, he does have a kid that is the same age as um, Carson. And then he has a little toddler here who's the cutest little ginger. You know what? Let's go see them. Let me show you guys their house. And then I'll show you my Sims house. Um, and we are in the world of Evansdale County. It's a little, it's springtime. So it's kind of overcast and ugly. But trust me, it doesn't look like this all the time. <laughs> it's actually a really nice town. Um, I did a world overview on it, which I will leave in the, a link to in the top right and in the description if you want to check it out. But that family, they live here. Yeah, that's them. Let me see if the kids, because sometimes they're outside for some reason. They're always outside. I don't know why. So yeah, see, they're standing outside. So these are the nieces of Mason and this is Carson. That would make them Carson's cousins. Um, so there's a little toddler. I forgot her name already. Penelope and then what's your name Jenna so yeah those are his kids oh she has really pretty blue eyes I've never seen her up close okay but yeah those are his kids um his little nieces now I guess I've talked about everything else I think I told you guys about everyone's jobs yeah I definitely did yeah um let me give you guys a little tour of their house okay so here we have the exterior of this house um i downloaded this house so many years ago like a few years ago and i tried to find out who built it but they didn't put the, their name in the um in like the info box like um when you choose a house usually people leave like the credits and i can't find who built this house which is so upsetting because i really wanted to link it down below but I mean, it wouldn't matter anyway because I changed a lot. Like <laughs> everything I put, I, I completely changed this house. So it looks nothing, I mean, besides like the exterior, like the walls and stuff, it looks nothing like what it was when I downloaded this. I'm pretty sure I got it off of the Sims resource. So I'll keep looking and see if I can find it on there and I'll link the house if you wanna download it. But just know it will not look anything like this. Um, if you do download this yourself like I changed a lot as far as the interior the exterior all that but um, all that being said here is their house so I guess we can start outside let me go down one more floor line just floor just so you guys can see everything um, so my sims do own quite a bit of cars so we had to park one out here we put one in the garage and there's still cars in their inventory um, we have a little bike rack here for the bikes we have two I think Carson is using the other one um, she's out exploring the town um, and then here we have the garage so this is the table what is this table called oh the inventing table okay so that was what I was saying that Jonathan used to do that he used to be a self-employed inventor and then he realized he had to pay the bills <laughs> so he went and got a job in the science career um, this is the backyard they have a pool that they've never used before we have some little lounging chairs um, this little mat that's supposed to be a towel but that's actually the yoga mat thing um, we have the miner I think Mika built this yeah Mika built that he was an inventor when he was alive and he invented a lot of stuff he also invented the thing that's back there I'll show you guys in a little bit but here is the front door and this is my favorite door to use um, this CC door I use this on every house that I build I just love it so much I don't know I think it's a really cool door that's the front door um, then you walk in we have this hallway here and sorry if this makes you dizzy at all I'm so sorry I hate watching videos and when people like do the tab camera I'm like oh my god don't do that um, you come down this way that is the garage you go to the right 
and it is a bathroom just a half bathroom and it has our laundry room so all of our laundry stuff is in there um, we have a little speaker system some pictures over there um, over here to the left is the stairs which by the way these are my favorite stairs from the sims 3 store I don't know why they didn't include this like <laughs> in generations but they're the little L-shaped curved stairs thingy. Love those. Um, over there is the living room. Right here is the dining room. By the way, sorry, this is taking me forever. I don't use a mouse when I play. Like I use my um, Mac um, trackpad thingy, and it like this is so much. Di this is so much harder to me to do all this. So I'm, I'm like. I don't know how to work any of this um this is our little at home office mostly mason uses well mason and gianna it was gianna's office at first um but mason uses this because he's a workaholic and he likes to work work from home but this is the office i think it is so cute i love that little rug i love the plant i love like that wallpaper right there that is my favorite i love how it looks um and they just have an imac because my sims are apple product users <laughs> No Android or PC over here, or Windows, I mean. Um, this is the dining room. I love the way these windows are back there. Really cool. This is the kitchen. A really huge kitchen. Um, they have the little um, pizza oven thing, because my Sims love pizza. Someone cooked spaghetti and left it out. Um, yeah, that's the kitchen really basic um high chair for the kids that was actually Carson's she outgrew it but we left it there for the baby Asher to use I never know my sims names I'm really bad I'm always like that one anyway you come in through these glass doors door, double doors and back here we have the piano that is what Cassie likes to use um, we have a little fireplace, which we don't use anymore ever since one of my Sims caught on fire. Um, that was actually Amara. If you follow me on Twitter, you would have, you would have seen those screenshots. It was very traumatizing. So we do not turn that fireplace on anymore. This is the living room. It's pretty bare. Um, they're still, they're still unpacking. So, um, yeah. And this is a potion someone sent me, um, on the Sims 3. Like, you know how you can send gifts to people? Someone sent me that. So thank you for sending me all those elixirs or potions, whatever they're called, because I don't own Supernatural, but, um, they come in really handy. So thank you. <laughs> um, by the way, if you want to add me on the Sims 3 forums or online, I don't know what it's called, but the Sims 3 online, my username is RIA10 and I always have it down below, um, so yeah, go add me on The Sims 3 and I'll send you gifts. I won't send you elixirs because I don't own Supernatural, but I'll send you gifts. Um, but yeah, okay, so that is basically the downstairs. You come upstairs with, again, love these stairs. I don't remember which one this came with. Was this the one with like the glass blowing station? I don't know. But then you come upstairs. This is a hallway. Um, I put in this little ballet bar for Carson to practice on when she's not at ballet. In the hallway, we actually have... <laughs> Asher's crib because <laughs> because we didn't have space to put it anywhere else so the hallway is pretty much Asher's room um I know y'all this looks ridiculous but don't laugh okay don't don't worry I'm gonna once he ages up we would figure everything out but they're moving out anyway um we have his little potty chair and he's sitting here playing on the little peg box you know doing his thing and we even have his changing station here his baby changing station <laughs> no way oh my god i this is so terrible i'm so like i'm showing you guys this so you guys can see how I, dirty i do my sims i really don't care they be sleeping in the hallway sleeping outside i really i really don't care um this is the master bedroom this is actually jonathan and amara's room but I'm going to redo it. And this will probably be where Carson stays once they move out. Just because I spoil my kids in The Sims. My little pixel kids, I give them the best lives. So um, I might redecorate it once they move out. Because um, it's really big and there's lots of space. And I feel like, I don't know, I'm really good at decorating like kid rooms. I think I'm better at decorating kid rooms than adult rooms. Just because it's like, what else do you put in there? Let me put the walls down. This is annoying. Um, so then in here, this is the master bathroom. It's actually really, really big. I like it. They got the nice tub, sink, and all that good stuff. 
Um, come back out into the hallway and you come to the first room. If my camera will move. Whoops, I didn't want to do whatever I just did. And this right here, this first room is actually Gianna's room. It's pretty small, but it works. Um, she has a nice TV in there. I love the colors. I love that wallpaper thing. Everyone's room has that, so I <laughs> clearly I love it. Um, that's her room with this little furry carpet. We got some pictures on the wall. And I think that's Jonathan. He's doing the laundry for everyone because he's a neat sim, which is the best. Um, this is Cassie and Mason's room. Pretty basic. This one is really big and I didn't, didn't really know what to do with it. Again, my sims are still unpacking, so, you know. Um, and then finally here we have Carson's room for the time being. Um, if I can turn my thing, I hate using a mouse. Oh my God, this is so horrible. Um, I've showed, I've, yeah, I've, I've shown pictures of her room on Twitter. But here it is in person. Um, I was in the process of redecorating and I just left that little decor stroller there. But basically she has a nice little lofted bed, a desk to do her homework at. There's Gianna. I don't know why she's in there. Um, lofted bed and then the little activity table, which um, Asher is the one that uses it the most. Like Carson doesn't even play with it. Um, she has that little kitchenette thing there. That's what she uses to bake all her cupcakes and all those things that she sells. And then here is the hallway bathroom. It's really, really small, but it works. Um, we have three bathrooms in the house. So my students make do with that. And I think that is all I wanted to show you guys of this household. I've been having so much fun playing with them. I had a lot of fun playing them when Mason was a kid because he was he was super rebellious, you guys. He used to get arrested every weekend. Um, I would have him go egg houses. He used to want to do this all the time. He would egg houses, pull pranks on the school, and, and now he's like living in this mansion, in this little dream house. And, you know, he's enjoying every little bit of it. You know, he's in the business career. Or he, like, has a successful wife, has a successful daughter. All of his siblings are successful. And it's, it's just been fun. So um, I can't wait to continue to play with them, see what happens to little Farah and her half-brother and her mom, which I don't know what's going to happen with that since she's an elder now. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to keep you guys updated. I can't wait to continue playing them and sharing them with you guys and yeah if you haven't already go ahead and check out some of my other videos um my most recent video was probably my speed build of that beach house or the world overview for metal glen if i didn't put that up then don't worry ignore everything i just said <laughs> but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you hit that like button if you want to see more of my content make sure you subscribe and if you want to let me know your thoughts on this video or some other things you might want to see in the future then make sure you comment them down below or you can tweet me on twitter at nonrevsims and i will see you guys in the next one